So as we begin technical drawing, we need to make sure we're speaking the same language so that we can communicate and get everything kind of ready to go so that we know what we're talking about. Uh, so I have a picture of Iron Man Mark II. I'm not sure what that is and why he's not red and gold, but we're going to go with it. Uh, when we're talking like engineers, we want to make sure that we kind of have a similar language with each other. Um, and that is how we describe how an item is. Remember, we're always talking about three-dimensional objects, uh, but we're going to be putting three-dimensional objects on 2D pieces of paper. So it kind of flattens them out. And we need a way to be able to describe how a three-dimensional object works on 2D. Now, this picture is a really good example of how that works. Uh, so I have the Iron Man, and uh, we can see how tall he is. We can see how far he is from left to right. And we turn him to the right in the middle there, and we can see how far he is from front to back. Um, those are all really good ways to describe how an object is and what kind of space it takes up. Uh, so when we talk about height, which is up and down, uh, we're going to be talking about height. That's up and down, top to bottom. We talk about left to right, that is called width. Some people will call that length, but in our, this class, it is always, always, always going to be width. Left to right is width. And then finally, front to back is going to be what's called depth, how deep something is. Let's take a look at it on another example here uh, so we get a little bit more of an idea of what's going on. Now, if we look at this item, it's flat. It's a, just a green box. Um, and we're going to represent this in three dimensions. If we take a look at the example item of what it is, you can see that it's three-dimensional. It has height, it has depth, it has width. Um, but right now, we only see one particular point of it. Uh, we kind of just see this little face right here. Uh, we don't see the top, we don't see the right side, we just see this. And this is the front view, this is what's called isometric drawing. We'll get into more of that later. Uh, but we need to be able to represent this here, which it is. It's already represented, but we need to know what this means. So we're going to take a look and see what's going on there. So if I take a look, uh, I know the heights, top to bottom, top to bottom is here, same heights. Then we're going to take a look at widths, which is left to right left to right is represented here. So we want to take a look and go through and figure out that our front view, which is this and this, match each other, and the heights and widths match each other. That's the basic setup here so that we can start talking the same language. And just in case you need to know, this guy back here, that's depth. That's front to back. But we'll get more into that later.